Oh, look, look, look. What's that? Elephant. Elephant. My name is David Hu, and I'm a mechanical engineer and a biologist at Georgia Tech. When I was a kid, I loved going to the zoo. I loved watching animals move. It wasn't really a career option for me until I basically studied mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering gave me these ways to really make sense of what I saw. I wish I had a trunk. You wish you had a trunk? What would you do with that trunk? Pick things up. That's like a hand, right? Like a hand, yeah. When you think of robots, you think of things that are like big, like made out of metal, right? Yeah. Maybe with wheels and lights. Yeah. But they're trying to make robots like that elephant trunk. It's really hard to make a robot like the elephant trunk. Do you know how many muscles that trunk has? 40,000 different muscles just in the trunk. How many do we have? We have only 200 muscles in our whole body. Bioinspiration is this idea of looking at animals and getting new ideas for how to make mechanical devices. What good is that elephant trunk? What does it do really well? It can move. There's a lot of interest in the elephant trunk because it's so flexible. It's so versatile. People imagine one day there's going to be soft robots that can do very gentle tasks like comb your hair and brush your teeth. And the elephant trunk is one of the few devices out there that can actually handle such small implements. Animals provide us a way of building and moving things that we just have had access to recently. For years, most of our devices have been hard and stiff and rigid, but most animals are composed of soft, very flexible parts. There's this new age of 3D printing where we're basically making soft robotic fingers and soft grippers. To build these kinds of things, we gotta have to basically throw away all our old methodologies for designing hard things. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, right. She has really wide feet. See her feet? They're really wide. <gasps> the elephant! There's another elephant. Yeah, that's her friend. 